Let's go. Okay. Hey, guys. So uh, my name is Roy. I'm a designer at Twix. Uh, this is Savvy. I'm a product manager for EditorX. Exactly. And, uh, I'm here to answer your questions. Uh, Roy over here is uh, one of our best designers, and he's going to be building a really great template. Um, and, uh, you know, if you guys have any questions along the way, feel free to uh, send it to us over the chat. And I'll go ahead and stop Roy and uh, make sure that uh, we can get uh, uh, all your answer, all your questions answered. Um, okay. So take it away, Roy. So uh, today we're gonna build this beautiful template that you see right now. It's a coming soon template. It's a uh, it's a cool cool template that have few cool features that uh, we just they you just saw in the uh before right before so uh we have here a transparent video we can change the colors of the video and we have the sticky position and we can build it together it's very easy uh we're gonna go to the template okay so i'm gonna start with the blank template um first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna add uh apply a grid it's gonna be one by two and i'm gonna adjust it to 100 VH, which means viewport height. It's because I want to see the entire section on the and the entire height of the of the grid of the uh, screen. So I'm going to make it 100. Just and 100. Great. I'm going to add now my Backgrounds. I'm going to go to my media. So this is the background. And I'm going to add a transparent video. So I'm going to go to quit add, add my video, change the video to transparent. Here you can see that we have amazing, beautiful uh, transparent video that you can add to your websites. They're all free from Wix. Uh, the cool thing about it that is that you can edit, change the colors. I'm going to show it to you right now. I'm going to add, let's see, a cool video here. Let's add this line. Great. So as you see, this video is transparent. You can play it. You can see anything behind it. The cool thing about it though, that you can go and change its colors. You can go to design recolor the video and choose custom and just play with it you can do whatever you want your situation this is like one of the coolest thing with the, that we have here i think uh, i'm going to change the video to the video that i want to use for this template i'm going to go to my site files coming soon and i'm going to expand it it's going to be on light wash with the color i like and i'm going to this don't display the play button. Let's see. Great. Let's see the behavior of the video. I want it to play automatically. I don't want it to pause. I'm going to no pause and I want it to loop. Great. Now I'm going to add my title. So I saved pre the webinar, I saved my assets that I like to use over and over. Uh, I advise everyone to use this place. It's like, it's great for designs that you like and like layouts and you can use it all over the pages and in different websites you have in your account. Uh, I saved my text that I'm gonna use here. I'm gonna start with this logo and I'm gonna dock it to the right and to the top, to the left and to the top. So it's gonna be 60 pixels and 60 pixels. Now I'm gonna send, I'm gonna change the font. I pre-saved my fonts and the colors right here. I'm gonna show it to you. It's gonna be right here in the theme manager. So I have my typography all saved here, my fonts, the color of the font, the size, and the color of the website. So I'm gonna use my heading five that I saved before, and I'm gonna link it to the home page. Great. Now I'm going to duplicate it, change the docking again to the right. So it's going to be 60 and 60. 60 
pixel. And let's change the text to uh, change the alignment and add a link to the bottom of the page and take it down. Okay, great. So now we have our header. Uh, and now I'm gonna add the main text and my call to action. So I'm gonna use a container. You can use many things. Uh, you can stack them together. I like to use container with uh, um, a grid. So in order to do that, I'm gonna make it 85% align it to the middle. I'm gonna take down the border. And now I'm gonna apply a grid. It's gonna be one by two. And I'm gonna add my text that I said before. It's gonna be 100%. And again, I'm gonna align it. So I'm gonna use heading one. And because I don't want it to stay this size, I want it to, to get smaller and bigger in, on each of the screens. I'm gonna use a uh, scale text and I'm gonna change it to 20 by 80 and align it to the middle, great. Uh, now I'm gonna add my button. So there it is, let's align it. I'm gonna dock it to the top to about 5%, I think, let's see, great. Now, I'm gonna adjust the grid again. I want it to be minimum height. So I'm gonna do like 50 and 50. Now the size of the columns of the section will be exactly the size of the elements that are inside the sections. So let's see, I wanna see that it's all good. I'm gonna do none. Great, let's look at my First fold, amazing. Now I'm gonna to go to iPad. Okay, so it looks good. I'm just gonna fix it a bit, make this bigger. I wanna put it a bit to the down. Let's see. Beautiful. Now let's do mobile. Okay, so here I have some more things that I need to do. Uh, first, I'm gonna change the size of my logo and the contact. So I'm gonna go to text scale, change it to 20 by 24. Great, let's make it bigger. I'm gonna change the docking to 20, 20. And do the same thing for contact. <clears throat> Sorry. And again, 20, 20. Nice. Now I'm gonna take my transparent video. I'm gonna un unstretch it. I'm gonna change the size, the width to 100 and the height to 250. I'm gonna dock it to the top around 100 pixels. Great. Now I'm gonna dock this to the right and to the left. So it's gonna be 20 pixels and 20 pixels. This a bit down. Let's see. I think it looks good. What do you think? Yeah, amazing. Let's see. Great, now let's build the second fold. And later we're gonna stick this video. So, I'm gonna add again my media. Now I'm gonna add my transparent video. Let's make it 20%. Great. I'm gonna change the color to white. Again, go to light wash and the color to white. It's so easy and fun. I'm gonna not display this, great. Now I'm gonna add my social links. So I'm gonna go to my design assets. I pre-saved it in advance. I'm gonna 
align it to the middle and change it to 80%. Again, now I'm gonna dock it to the bottom and I guess like 80 pixels from the bottom, great. Change it to heading one. Again, scale it to 80, but, uh, 20 by 80 and align it to the middle and change the color to white. Now you can just add your links to each of the words. You can just go and right click on the word and add the link right here. It's really easy. Um, I'm missing my arrow to go back to the top of the page. So I'm just gonna go to my ad panel, go to the corrective and Bro, add. Can I stop you for a second? Mm -hmm. Okay, hey everyone. Uh, we are having some issues with the chat. So I know that uh, if you guys have any questions, um, you can ask them right now. Uh, but uh, later on in the video, uh, once we finish, we'll give you information on how you can contact us in case you have any open questions. And uh, we'll be more than happy to answer them. Uh, so now for right now, sit back and uh, enjoy the ride. And write down uh, everything you have. Yes, and uh, maybe I'll bug uh, Roy, I'll bug you with some questions. I okay, have. okay, okay, good. <laughs> okay, so uh, I added my, uh, my shape. I'm gonna change the size, I'm gonna move it to fix and change it to 40 by 80. Nice, and I'm gonna dock it to the top and the right. It's gonna be 60 pixels and 60 pixels. Color to white. And then I'm gonna change, I'm gonna link it to the top of the page. Let's see. Amazing. So let's do the other breaking points. So here, I'm gonna change the size to 30. I'm gonna see that it's, I'm gonna go back for a second. I forgot to move it back to fluid. So it's gonna be like 30%. And here it's gonna be like 5%. Great. Um, I think it looks good. And let's move to mobile. Okay, so make it bigger. It's gonna be like 55. Now, I, I don't wanna use this uh, text because it, it fits good in desktop and iPad, but here it's too small. I, wanna, I want the words to be bigger. So I'm just gonna hide this text. I'm not gonna see it in the other breaking points. I'm gonna add a new text from before. This is a new one. I'm gonna delete the slashes. Let's make it bigger. And I'm gonna change it to the size that I want. It's gonna be again, it's gonna be like 60 by 120. Okay, now let's change the color. It's gonna be red diamond. and align it to the middle. Now I want to move it down a bit. It's gonna be like 30%, let's see. And move it up to like 20%. No, it's gonna be here. And let's change this to like 10. Change it 20 pixels and 20 pixels. Nice. Okay, so now for the cool part, I wanna make this video sticky like we see it here. So it's, it's very easy. It's very fast and easy. I just click on the video, go to scroll and change the scroll effect to sticky. Now what happened is the video just came out the layers. I'm just gonna go to layers and move it down above my background. I'm gonna move the button background above too. So it won't go up. Let's see. ta -da. What do you think? Uh, let's see it on mobile. So I don't like it how it looks on mobile just like doesn't work. I'm gonna, in mobile, I'm gonna change it to 
stick uh, to uh, none. Can you explain a little bit of what is, uh, what is stick uh, for, the, for the crowd? So what it does is just leave the video like in the view height. Like you can always see the video, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, we have few effects, like we have the sticky and we have the fix. Um, are there any more questions like from the audience? Uh, not from the audience. Uh, unfortunately, we're having some issues with the chat. So these are my questions. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's talk about it then. Sure. Like, uh, can you explain a little bit as well um, about the container up here that you're selecting? Uh, what does the auto do? What are, what, why did you select like I, the, Like the before, the size of the, the height of the container was like a number. Mm -hmm. um, I want it to be none. So like, Every time, so when the size would be uh, uh, larger, it wouldn't be the um, the section would not be larger than the the elements inside of the of Okay, it. so it grows with elements. Basically. Yeah. It might size a lot. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Great. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, also, you you showed a little bit uh, before with the arrow. Uh, you switched it from fixed to fluid. Uh, mm -hmm. What what is the difference between fixed and fluid? Uh, so the fix will leave it the same size as you chose at first and it's going to be look the same in all of the screens when i moved it to fluid it just like changed and the size uh rescaled like according to the each of the uh, uh screens that i moved uh then it looks seamlessly and like doesn't look uh big and all of the awesome and uh last question uh you explain a little bit about how the logic works, designing between breakpoints, like from desktop to tablet. How does the design travel with you, basically? You, you really need to understand like what you do and think about like the user experience when you go into your website. Like you need to think like, okay, so I chose to leave this video sticky here and in uh, mm -hmm. and in um, tablet because it works very well. It looks good, but. Yeah. I, I decided to leave it as as is when we went to mobile because I know it's just not going to work and not, it's not going to look good. Uh, you just need to think about every breakpoint, like how it looks, maybe take down pictures you don't need, like when you see it uh, in desktop. And uh, just think about all of those things. Awesome. Great. Yeah. So thank you very much. Uh, I hope you understood what I did and I hope you enjoyed. And that's it. So um, just before we end this, um, I know that some of you guys probably have some questions. If you still have those questions, uh, you can uh, go ahead and go into editorxcommunity.com. That is our EditorX forum. Uh, uh, the product team is in there, including myself. And uh, you can ask us questions and uh, we'll be there to answer whatever questions you have. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this template is available to use today. Uh, so if you want to go over to our templates page, you can select it and start using uh, this amazing template. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have everyone. a great day. Thanks for your time.